My name is Warren Foreman. I'm 67 years old. I'm here with my wife, Connie, and my two boys, Tavon and Jordan. We've been married 32 years, and um, now we're taking care of the uh, medical things in our lives. <laughs> Going back about a year and a half ago, uh, I had a PSA level of five. A year later, it was up to eight. The biopsy came back with no cancer on the left side, and two out of four specimens on the right side had cancer cells, and they were Gleason 8. Start thinking about all your relatives, and he also had forgotten that his uncle, uh, Sally, had died of um, prostate cancer. I wasn't terribly alarmed. I was more concerned about what would fit into my lifestyle, the matters of side effects, uh, which is one of the reasons why I eliminated surgery, really from the beginning. And he did a lot of research, and he was able to speak to other people who went through uh, the procedure that he's having now, CyberKnife. I'm Dr. Alan Katz, and we're standing here at the CyberKnife uh, in Flushing, Queens. The CyberKnife is actually an ideal uh, tool to treat prostate cancer because it turns out that prostate cancer, unlike most other cancers, uh, has a, a great sensitivity to dose per fraction. That is, a very high dose and fewer fractions seems to work better biologically than a lot of little uh, doses, which is the standard way of treatment. So um, in order to deliver uh, the five uh, treatments that we do with very high doses, uh, you need to have uh, what CyberKnife does for you. It needs, you need to have great accuracy uh, and you need to have uh, great uh, conformality. That is, you want the dose to hug the prostate and, and have as little dose as possible to the bladder and the rectum. Your mother and I will go into flushing to CyberKnife. What time are you uh, done? It, it's, I think it takes about 45 minutes. This is the first day. It may take a little longer to set up and everything else. But Hi, Mr. and Mrs. Foreman. Good to see you again. Hi. Okay, why don't we come back and talk a little bit before the treatment? Sure. Okay. You're going to see or feel nothing. You're going to see that robot moving around you. And uh, during the treatment, if you have any problem of any sort, you can raise your hand. Just yell and we'll be able to stop the treatment and continue it. If you take a look at the monitor, um, the uh, machine moves like an arm and it's able to uh, bend and move all over the, the patient so that it's not just in a fixed position, it's all around all the points that, the, that need to be treated with the prostate. But usually after the first day, the patients are very nervous. After the second day, they kind of see how the machine was working inside the room and they usually are uh, just very relaxed after that. We had our first treatment uh, last night. Uh, after the first procedure, uh, cyber knife, um, I felt fine. Uh, I felt really nothing. Uh, I didn't feel tired. Uh, I didn't feel fatigued. I had to get up rather early this morning for day two of uh, the cyber knife treatment. Again, I had to do a fleet enema to empty myself out. My wife, Connie, will be staying home. But there's really no reason for her have to go with me because uh, I feel fine going by myself. Uh, fortunately, we just got out of the worst part of the traffic and we should be arriving on uh, plenty of time. CyberKnife, we'll let them know how long the, the uh, treatment will last. We'll have a, once we bring up the patient's plan at the console, it'll give us an amount of estimated time Warren is doing exceptionally well right now. He's very relaxed. There's not a lot of movement at all. It's a very smooth treatment right now. Staying still for the 45 minutes of the cyber knife treatment um, is a little difficult. You hear the whirring of the machine and the movement of the machine. You look around and it's, it's kind of odd. It's really kind of strange. This machine is moving around your body. You start playing mental games as, you know, when is it 
radiating me and when is it not radiating me? But it's kind of silly because there's no way of you knowing. The mechanics of the machine when they're rotating to the next position can be kind of loud. Uh, so we do put on some music to help the patient to relax um, so that he has less movement possible. A, a wonderful feature about the cyber knife is the chances of not treating the wrong patient with the wrong plan. Each plan is designed for every particular patient where it's pretty difficult to treat the wrong patient with the wrong plan. We go through a series of checks and I think that's an awesome uh, safety mechanism that we have with this treatment. Well, I feel fine. Uh, it's really very, very uneventful and now I'm going to go home and uh, have something to eat and then get to my home office and just start doing some work. Nothing much, I'm back in the house. I have my second treatment this morning. My father's been a real estate lawyer, I think, you know, since the early 60s. It's uh, quarter to 11 and I just returned from my second treatment and uh, already here at work. His work ethic is, is far above the average person. Uh, I got a delivery of mail from the office uh, which we've gone through. Well, when I found out uh, my father was diagnosed with prostate cancer, obviously I was very concerned. Going over my emails, um, I'm probably going <clears> to <throat> put in the better part of a full day's work today. I mean, we'll all be here for him, try to make it go by smoothly, but I'm sure he'll be on the phone <laughs> as often as he can be. And I'm looking forward to getting it done. And then we'll move on to day three tomorrow. Day three of my cyber knife treatment, and uh, aside from being dark out this morning, it's also nasty out. So our uh, trip in this morning will be uh, a little bit more adventurous than usual. When I see Dr. Katz today, um, I just am going to review the um, fleet anima issues uh, because it, it is a little burdensome having to do it every single day. Warren, so far you've had three treatments. Today's your third. And how have you been feeling? I feel fine. Uh, okay. Any problems with the urination? No. Nothing? Okay. Uh, you've been taking the Ducalax the, uh, the night before yes. and a fleet enema. Has that been upsetting your stomach at all? Yes, it is. Okay. So I think since you're getting some cramps and you, you clean out so good, we could probably back off on the Ducalax. I just take the fleet enema in the morning. That should be, that should be sufficient. Two more days of the same thing and, and, and you're done. Yep. Prior to the patient coming in, um, the doctor uh, implant the seeds within the patient. Uh, the seeds that are uh, used for tracking with the machine, uh, it lets us know where his prostate is. When the doctor implants the seeds, we're able to track where exactly the prostate is by using the seeds and the fiducials that are in place. That's letting the machine know that this is where the prostate is and it's able to track every movement that's going on. This is the only form of radiation that I've ever uh, worked with where we're able to actually ascertain through the use of the fiducial seeds that we constantly track uh, exactly what the position of the prostate is. To be able to follow this and to correct for this during the treatment really gives us uh, unparalleled uh, accuracy. So today is the third day uh, of Warren's treatment. We don't see any side effects yet from the cyber knife treatment. He's not having any urinary problems. Uh, he is having one side effect, which really comes from the, the, the clean-out. We do this fairly rigorous clean-out to ensure that there's no gas or stool in the rectum, because gas or stool in the rectum can make the prostate move. So we're doing this to keep the prostate very still. It, it'll be next week when he starts to get some of the side effects from the cyber knife treatment, which will be some urinary frequency, slower stream, maybe some urgency, and some, some bowel frequency. And they generally last about 10 to 12 days. Most patients, uh, when they seek out uh, cyber knife treatment, generally have looked at other forms of radiation. And one of the things that they find is, say, say with surgery, that there's this risk that they could have uh, incontinence of urine, uh, that they uh, uh, may lose uh, erectile function. So, Obviously, the first thing that most people are concerned about is, uh, will my cancer be cured, of course? And uh, so far, our results have been uh, very, very uh, uh, good in that department. But secondarily, then, the patients are concerned about these possible side effects. The um, chance of getting any significant incontinence with our treatments has been very low, less than 1%, much better than surgical series. And we've had a very, very high success rate in preserving uh, erectile function. We're seeing about 80% uh, uh, preservation. I'm pleased with 
the way things have been going so far with the CyberKnife treatment. And um, I'm looking forward to finishing off the last couple of days. We're getting ready to start day four of the CyberKnife treatment. And um, just getting some paperwork together because uh, after the treatment, I'm going to go into the office. The people in the office are anticipating uh, my coming in uh, just to make sure that I'm being, uh, you know, I'm being honest and that I'm fine uh, because they are concerned. Uh, they keep on asking me, uh, anything wrong or do you feel anything? Today, Mr. Foreman's here for his fourth day of treatment. One of the advantages of the CyberKnife for radiation is the amount of time that it takes to be treated. Uh, Mr. Foreman will be done with his treatment in five days. Most patients who do come in for the CyberKnife treatment um, have a lot of daily tasks that they have to do. A lot of them work, so this is a great option for them for their treatment. Okay, Mr. Foreman, fourth treatment is finished. One more tomorrow. Okay. My firm uh, consists of six of us, uh, so it's myself, a paralegal, and support staff. Oh, fine, thanks. Good. I know when I walked in, they were all very happy to Good. see me back. I'm back. How do you feel? I feel great. Good. <laughs> I, I think he looks great. I think he looks better than when he left the office. I mean, the treatment seems to be successful. I think he looks awesome. Well, I was happy to see him, and we gave him a hug. I gave him a hug, Gina gave him a hug, and I asked him how he was doing, and he's like, I'm fine. Working with Warren um, during the course of his treatment was really no different than any other time when he's been on vacation or um, medical leave. Um, basically, we communicate over the phone via email. We get him his mail and documents uh, by messenger or personal delivery. Um, from one, from one of the staff members. Really nothing, nothing has changed. And you feel good? I feel fine. You feel terrific. No, just one more day, that's all. I'll be back to okay. normal. Baruch atah Adonai Eloheinu melech haolam This is the second night of Hanukkah, uh, which reminded me that uh, it was a night that a very dear friend of ours, Michael Clark, passed away. He died of cancer, and not prostate, you know, stomach cancer. Having had my fourth CyberKnife treatment today, and having it coincided with uh, his death, um, made me think and be thankful for the CyberKnife treatment. Uh, he, he unfortunately didn't have that opportunity. Tomorrow is my fifth and last treatment, uh, CyberKnife treatment. I'm looking forward to be over with it, not that it was a drudge or it was difficult or uh, uh, I, I felt any uh, pain or suffering from it, but just knowing that it's behind me. This is uh, day five, the last day of my cyber knife treatment. Went to bed last night realizing that I only had to get up this unearthly hour one more time, but more, most importantly that uh, after today, um, I should be cancer free. His treatments went, went really well. Um, he hasn't had any issues. If everything is fine from there, then he'll make a, a six month follow up with the doctor and you know, if he has any other questions with his body. I've studied um, uh, six to seven hundred patients now that I've treated with CyberKnife for prostate cancer. And in those patients that have uh, four years follow up, we're seeing extremely low levels of uh, PSA. If you have excellent PSA level, very low at four to five years, you, you pretty much are cured. After the last day of treatment, we find the patients are very uh, appreciative of our service here. Um, they're very appreciative that it's only been five days and they are finished with their treatment. Just finished my uh, fifth and last uh, treatment with the CyberKnife, which is behind me here. And uh, I'm done. It's been an interesting week. Probably, if anything stays with me, is the reaction of my employees and the people I work with in the office when I came back and how happy they seemed to be that I was there and you know gratified that I was well. Um, that was really kind of nice. Tomorrow night we'll be having family over to celebrate uh, Hanukkah and um, I think everybody will 
be happy to be there with my treatment having ended. So I think that we'll have two, two reasons to celebrate tomorrow.